Can we go say hi? No. Why not? He's lactose intolerant and drinks 50 gallons of milk a day. You don't want to get gross. Daddy, how come you're so... What did I tell you about calling me Daddy? It makes you sound weak. Sorry, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> That's my little spice. Keep not believing. That's the spirit. All right, class, let's go around the room and say what we're all doing for Christmas. Ooh, can I go first? Go ahead, Nicholas. I'm gonna help my dad load up the sleigh and donate gifts to the shelters. That's wonderful, Nicholas. Anyone else wanna share? Go ahead, Gretchen. I'm going- She's probably gonna destroy decor like her dad. No, I wouldn't do that. Of course you would, you're a Grinch. Yeah, do you even care about Christmas? No, they don't. <laughs> What's wrong, my little booger? I don't wanna talk about it. Are you gonna DD tonight? Destroy decor? Of course, it's a week before Christmas. Can I come? Really? You've never wanted to go with me before. I changed my mind. That's my little Grinch. <laughs> You've got a lot of Grinch in you. I'm so proud. Let's go burn down the city tree in honor of you no longer believing in Christmas. You can do the honor. It's breaking. Dad, no! Uh oh. Someone help, please! Dad! Look who it is. I heard she pushed her dad into a burning tree. I heard she mistaked her dad for a tree. For the last time, I don't want visitors. Gretchen, my name's Molly. We need to talk. You got your hair cut. I cut it myself. Mr. Grinch never liked the long hair anyways. I see. Do you have any family or friends nearby that you'd be able to stay with? No. I'm perfectly fine alone. Gretchen, you're only 16, so if there's not an adult in your family that can take care of you, you're going to have to go to foster care. So is there anyone you know? Holly, unfortunately, our foster care is full. Angie, I know that's not true. Holly, her believability score is a zero, and I heard she's an arsonist. She won't fit in here. Gretchen, I... It's fine. We tried. I just have to stay at my dad's house alone. Boo-hoo. Your dad's house is getting put up for sale. You can't stay there, Gretchen. Well, I heard the playground has a super comfy slide, so you can find me there. You can stay with me until we find a more permanent place. Holly, please. I know you don't want that. Well, here we are. You live on the north side? Yeah. But that means you're related to- Santa. He's my uncle. I cannot stay here. That's like a major disgrace to Christmas. It's fine, Gretchen. He accepts everyone. Even those that don't believe. Ho, 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 Holly, who is this? Gretchen Grinch. She's going to stay with us through the holiday. I'll show you to your room, Gretchen. Go ahead. You know, Gretchen, I don't bite. You don't have to walk so far behind me. No offense, sir, but I know about your milk obsession and your lactose intolerant problem. It's best I keep my distance. Ho, ho, ho. I didn't even know I was lactose intolerant. This is our guest bedroom. The elves can help you find anything you might need. Hey, Gretchen, I'm sorry to hear about your father. He was a good man. Thanks. Good night, Gretchen. You go in. No, you. No, Santa said for you to check on her. Boom. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Gretchen. We are Evie and Emmy, Santa's elves. We wanted to see if you needed anything. No, and you don't have to check up on me. Actually, Santa said we did. Well, I said no. Now go away. Okay. Go away. Hi, Gretchen. Nick? You know you scared the elves away. None of them want to come up and check on you. Well, I don't need to be checked on. Fine. But some advice? Be nice to the people who are trying to help you. I know that's hard for you. I heard what your friend said about me. What? That you think I killed my dad? Is that what you think too? No. And I'm sorry they said that. Come with me. Why? Do you trust me? <laughs> Aren't you going to get in trouble for this? Nah, I told him this was a pre-Christmas maintenance check. Everything seems so small from up here. Yeah, kind of like the little things people say about you doesn't matter, right? Thank you for showing me this. You're welcome. Whoa, boy. Santa's calling us. We better get back. Thanks, Nick, for the ride. Anytime.
I'm sorry again for what my friends said about you. If it's okay with you, I'd like to go talk to the elves. Of course, I know they'll like that. Evie, elves, I'm sorry I was mean to you guys earlier. I'm just I'm kind of going through a rough time right now, but I know you guys were just trying to help. It's okay, Gretchen. We forgive you. You will? Yeah, that's what Christmas spirit is all about. Hi, Gretchen. Hey, Holly. Wow, less than a week here and you already believe in Christmas. I know. What's wrong? It's just, my father would be so disappointed. I really let him down. Gretchen, there's something I want to show you. Here. What is this? Your father's believability score. He believed in Christmas? Not always, but ever since you were born, he did. You changed him. I wonder why he never told me. Sometimes people act a certain way to make others think they're strong, but believing doesn't make you weak, Gretchen. In fact, you can find a lot of strength letting a little magic into your heart. I already feel less alone by you guys showing me so much kindness. You're never alone, Gretchen. You always have a home here at the North Pole. Merry Christmas, Gretchen. Merry Christmas, Holly. A hundred percent naughty? Is this some kind of joke? Are you talking to me, Cassie? No, Elfie. I'm just talking to myself. You sure do that a lot. I- Cassie, can you come here for a sec? Coming! Dad, you know you could just send an elf to get me instead of yelling my name down the hall. Cassie, call me Santa. I'm on the clock. I was wondering if you got your soulmate score yet. Not yet, Santa. Well, let me know what it is as soon as you get it. Aren't you supposed to know everything? You don't already know who my soulmate is? Miss Sassy, it's not too late to be on the naughty list. I'll let you know when I find out. Thank you. Oh, and can you go help the elves? There seems to be a problem in the toy room. Yeah, of course. We don't have any of the Squishmallows? Where could they have all gone? We don't know, Cassie. Let's see here. I might be able to help you with that. Griffin. Griffin Grinch. Give us back the toys. I'm afraid I can't do that. It's part of the job, being the mean one. Elves, give us some space. So you wanted alone time. Does that mean you know you're my- Don't say it! Fine, I won't say that I'm your you-know-what. The system made a mistake. We could never be together. Santa would kill us both. Isn't that kind of romantic, though? A forbidden love? Oh, please. This is not love. Well, not yet. We just found out we're soulmates. Just give us back the toys. Sorry, Cassie. No can do. But have fun telling Santa your boyfriend ruined Christmas. You're not my boyfriend! Dad, all the Squishmallows are gone. We checked twice. What? How could this have happened? Did someone take them? We may have reason to believe it was the Grinch's son, Griffin. Really? Why do you think that? Because he came to gloat. And you didn't call me? Oh. There was no time. He was in and out so fast. Cassie, I need you to handle this. Go there and get him to give the toys back. Me? Yeah, you. Dad, I- Christmas is a week away. They need me here. Please, Cassie. The children are depending on you. Cassie? I wasn't expecting you so soon. Let me guess. It was my irresistible smile. I came for the toys, not you. Don't flatter yourself. Uh-huh. Sure. Come on in. Just give us back the toys. Why? Because I said so. Sorry. Can't- Ow! Ow! Are you ow, okay? ow! 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 I must have twisted my ankle on your crooked floor. <sighs> How does it feel? Hurts. Here, I brought you some snow. Thanks. Your nice score went up. Yeah, it- uh, You like me. Do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. Okay, fine. Sorry. Unless that was okay. Santa's so gonna kill me. Cassandra Claus. Dad? Santa? Grinch. I can explain. I'm waiting. He's my soulmate. Your soulmate, huh? <laughs> What'd you do? Steal all the toys with him too? What? Of course not! No! I cannot believe you would disrespect me like that. You're no longer allowed at the North Pole. Are you serious? Effective immediately. I knew he'd be mad, but accusing me of stealing the toys? Only a heartless person would steal Christmas toys! Hey now. And that's exactly what you are. Heartless. I can't believe I let you trick me into falling in love with you. Cassie, where are you going? I don't know. Anywhere but here. Don't follow me. You can't stay out here all night. How'd you find me? Followed the candy tears. There was a lot of them. Your nice score went up again. 
You're out of touch with your Grinch side. Yeah, I fell for a girl who brings out the best in me. There you go with all that sweet talk again. I returned all the toys back to Santa. You did? Yeah, and I told him I'd stay away from you. The elves are here to take you home. Hi, Cassie. You can get back to the North Pole tonight. So if I go back with them, I'll never see you again? Yeah, that's the deal I made with your dad. But I don't want to go back without you. Cassie, please. I screwed things up enough. Plus, just because we're soulmates doesn't mean we're meant to be. I have an idea. Dad, I know you made a deal with Griffin, but Santa's supposed to forgive people, and Griffin's proven that he wants to change. Hmm. How did you get so wise? I got it from you. Fine, he can be here. But no kissing. Ever. Dad! Around me. Listen, if you break my daughter's heart, you'll be having coal in more places than just your stocking. Understood, sir. And thank you. <clears throat> Send this back. It doesn't pass quality control. What are you doing? What? It broke in like two seconds. Yeah, you played way too rough with it. Kids play rough. Not like that. Uh, since when do we have a naughty and nice score? New protocol. Santa's requiring the elves this year to be sorted into the naughty and nice list. But we were exempt before. Yeah, but lately there's been a lot of reports of elves being naughty around here. What, they didn't put extra chocolate in his hot cocoa? No, they broke toys. Santa, this is ridiculous. You've never had the elves be scored before. True, but it was unfair of me to not hold my elves to the same standards as the rest of civilization. It's not unfair. It's wise. You have faith that your elves are the very, very, very best. Which we are. Then there should be no problem with them making it on the nice list. And any elves on the naughty list by Christmas Eve tomorrow will be fired. Fired? That doesn't mean we would be sent to civilization, does it? Yes, Edel, that's exactly what that would mean. But it's impossible for elves to get jobs over there. Then I suggest all elves make it on the nice list. You can go now. This is ridiculous. I am a nice person. I should be able to solve this faster than you can say Christmas cookie. Hey, Edel, I could really use your help with something. Not now, Doris. I'll give you some help once you fix your eyebrows. Please, it's really important. I mean... Anything for you, Doris. What do you want? Vixen is having horrible diarrhea and won't take his pill, but he loves you. Could you help us? Yeah, good luck with that. This is serious. Christmas depends on it. If he's not better by Christmas Eve, he won't be able to fly. It could be worth a lot of nice points. Fine, I'll help you. And Vixen, just eat the pill. Um, Edel, the pill doesn't go in that end. What end does it? No. I know, Vixen. I don't want to be doing this either. Oh! Now I know why you didn't want to do that. Oh. Only 25%? That should have been worth way more. Help! Someone help! Anyone! What is it? There's a fire in the kitchen. Oh no! Hand me the fire extinguisher! The what? The candy cane colored thing! It's out. Is everyone okay? Yes, thank you, Edel. Hey, do you happen to know the time? 11 p.m. It's almost Christmas Eve. I only have one more hour to make it on the nice list. Kill us. It wasn't my fault. Yes, hey, it... hey, hey, what's going on in here? Anita messed up the order, and now all the toys for the Portland area are mislabeled. Well, Louise was rushing me. Enough! We need to load Santa's sleigh in one hour. We don't have time for this nonsense. You girls are being incredibly stupid. <laughs> but we all make mistakes. Louise, hand me that list. Here's what we're gonna do. That was the last one. 1201, we did it. Good job, girls. Hurry, we gotta get to the Christmas Eve party. Edel, come on. I'll meet you there. I didn't make it. I'm gonna be sent to civilization. Thank you everyone for another successful Christmas. But unfortunately, not every elf made it onto the nice list this year. The following elves will be asked to leave tonight. Seymour Butts, Dick Long, Pat Maez, and Edel. Please say your goodbyes and Merry Christmases. Santa, wait, you don't understand. If it weren't for Edel, we wouldn't be having Christmas this year. That's all great to hear, but even with all that, she was more naughty than nice this year. Guys, stop, it's okay, I'm on the naughty list. But she saved Christmas. She helped give Vixen his diarrhea medicine. And put out the fire in the kitchen. And helped us when the toys got missorted. 
Edel, is that true? I did my best, Santa, and I'm trying to be better. I really want to be on the nice list. After hearing all this, I think you're deserving of a second chance. Merry Christmas, Edel. You can stay. Really? Yes. What about me, Santa? Most definitely not, Pat Myaz. Merry Christmas, Edel. Ooh, answer the questions to find your soulmate. Who is the president? Santa, duh! Oh, well he's the president of the workshop. How fast is the speed of light? Easy, that's how fast Santa's sleigh goes. 186,000 miles per second. Ooh, I got a letter. Next question. What is the fastest growing bone on an animal? Easy, the antler. I'm gonna get my soulmate in no time. Only two more to go. What is your father's name? Papa Elf. Something's wrong with this machine. First it said Santa wasn't president and now it's saying Papa Elf isn't my father. Papa Elf, I'm trying to answer these soulmate questions and it's saying you're not my dad. Candy Cane. There's something I have to tell you. I'm not actually an elf. Is that why I have to wear these fake ears and I'm three feet taller than everyone? Yes, Candy Cane. That's exactly why. Then who is my father? Paul Jacobson from New York. Paul Jacobson? What kind of lame name is that? I hope you understand, Papa Elf, but I feel like I have to go to New York to find this Paul Jacobson guy. He might even know who the president is. Apparently it's not Santa. Don't tell him, though. I understand, Candy Cane. Good luck on this new journey. I'll miss you. Paul Jacobson? Has anyone here seen a Paul Jacobson? Hey you, no yelling. I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are too. Paul Jacobson. No singing either. Someone's getting cold for Christmas. I could have swore someone was calling my name. Paul? Yeah. Jacobson? That's me. I'm your daughter, Candy Cane. Nice to meet ya. Impossible. I don't have a daughter. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You and Eloise had me back in 1990. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Security, take her away. What? Stop! Don't touch me! <clears throat> Jingle bells, Paul Jacobson smells. <clears throat> hey, is everything okay? I saw what happened back there. I just met my dad for the first time, and he didn't even believe it was me. Huh, I wonder why. I'm Buddy. Candy cane. Like the candy? Like the cane. Maybe he didn't believe you because you're in a costume. What are you talking about? Everyone wears this at the North Pole. Yeah, but nobody wears that in New York. Come with me. I look ridiculous. I agree. The hat needs to go. The hat's not the problem. Well, let's see what Paul Jacobson thinks. Come on. Thanks for coming with me. There was no way I was letting you Uber alone. Hey, I would have managed. How were you going to pay for this? Candy? Life-saving candy. This is my whole allowance at the North Pole. They don't accept that. Hey, you better clean all that up back there. Hey, did you get your soulmate questions? Yeah, but I'm stuck on my last one. What is it? How many toys does Santa make? <laughs> What's so funny? Easy. 100 billion, 500 million, 200,000, and 68. Wait, that worked. I told you. Let me guess, you completed yours. No, I'm stuck on my last one too. What is it? Who's the president of the United States? Joe Biden. It worked. Candy cane, I think you're my- And we're here. Come on, let's go. I hope your plan works. Me too. Paul Jacobson? Leave me alone, Candy. Wait, I know you might not have taken me seriously at first, but I am your daughter. Come on in, both of you. So let me get this straight. Elise had you over 20 years ago? Yes, at least that's what Papa Elf told me, and he never lies. Well, maybe you could spend the night tonight so we can get to know each other. But only one night. Really? Yeah, we'll make up the guest bedroom. Holly jolly Christmas. Thank you, Paul. Can I call you Dad? No. Thank you for helping me, buddy. Do you need some candy to pay for your ride back home? Thanks, Candy Cane, but I think I'll manage. There was something, um... What? Um... What is it? I think you... Come here. Whoa. <laughs> buddy, what was that? 
That was a kiss, because I'm pretty sure you're my soulmate. So that's what a soulmate means. So that's my story on how I found out that Santa is not the president. Paul Jacobson from NYC is my real dad, and kissing is a lot of fun. Merry Christmas, everyone! Bye.